We're still pretty hurt, though. That was an absolute set him up, knock him down, brutal fight. But I can get here and heal. So let's go. And it would have healed uh, the lead, but she's got lifesteal, so it should be fine. Wonder if you ever play Kenshi. Not yet. Maybe someday. Alright, so this looks a little rough. Let me guess. Boy, this looks messy. Alright, let's take a look at these guys. So if I do Discharge, it'll break some of them. Celestial sma Smash won't do a dang thing. And we're too fast for that. So let's start with the Discharge. Okay. Now that they're properly stunned, let's plant explosives. Ooh, battle cry would almost be great. So sever might be kind of interesting for the bleed. Nah, ain't worth it. Hit him with that, but let's stimulate. That way we can just kill him. Because that gets her 37 HP and deletes him. Oh, that guy still had an action. It's fine. Okay, so let's go here. Stimulate him. Now we also have we also have Cataclysm. I think I'd like to avoid using it, if possible. Oh. So that's two kill shots. Yeah. We should probably do cat Cataclysm here. That's two kill shots. Leaves us with the incredible bulk in the back. But he's just doing a ground pound, which is only going to get through my shields and isn't going to mess me up too much beyond that. Okay. Consider yourself subdued! Swinging fists. All right. So stunned pain in the ass. Let's go Blitz, which just breaks it. Oh, he's weak to light attacks. Andy. Okay. And she's going to go for... We do have Sever. He's weak to it. Let's see. Bestow shields on her. And... My knife, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, light attacks do not heal nearly as much as a full heavy attack, but that's okay. She gets shields. He's got swing and fists. I don't think I'm going to be able to lay it. The hell's up with the turn order? Okay. Let's stimulate her. He's doing swinging fists anyway, so I, I really should not have done that. Oh well. But I hit, if I hit him with a sever, I hit him no matter what. I don't know what happened here. Let's see. I'll just do a straight shot. 
Now, is he attacking? Or... Okay, that was weird. It was like I had a bonus round. So I'm just going to have her defend. He apparently is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, let's see. Shield's back. So we got... Place your bets. Which is actually decent damage. Considering what we're up against. You think you knocked him into the future so hard he broke twice. It looks like that's the case. It turned off the entire initiative bar, but you know what? I see the world in a whole new way now. All right, he goes down. And she gets her shields back. He's on fire. He's getting messed up. He's pumping up, which is extra damage, attacks her faster. So in that case... It doesn't really matter what he's doing. Okay. I'm going to stimulate her so she gets a little bit of HP back. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this region, but if I can, I'm going to be a very happy camper. Because it would be hilarious to just beat this game in one run just through sheer grit and tactics. Ooh, Intel. Intel is actually really useful. These locals are stronger than they look! Something tells me that was inevitable. Alright. So... I desperately want to go up here. But we're going to lose if that... If I do. So that's okay. Yeah, the slow effect was plus 30 seconds to his actions. Yeah. Wait, what? Huh. Don't I have these? Wait. Did I break this as well? Weird. Oh. I just rolled the same item three times in a row. Is that... Is that what was happened? Okay. A little confused there. Okay, so let's... Let's breach this. Because I'm... I'm not even going to try and attempt... I might be able to go into that temple as well. Is this a Titan temple or an ancient visitor center nearby? Larger uh, visitor center to a nearby larger Titan temple. I can never tell. Plus, is one more impressive than the other? Narash has ti Titanian temples and Menku has Titanium temples. They're completely different, but both kind of sinister. I don't think we're going to visit a Star Union Galactic Heritage site during... Oh, I didn't think we get to visit Star Union Galactic Heritage sites during this epic battle against the forces of evil. What a bonus. Okay, good. It was not a separate exploration zone. I was going to get kind of worried if that was the case. Yeah, so if I hadn't taken this path around... We would have been able to get more. But that's okay, because now we're full health... We have minimal issues. Uh, we're slowly kind of sort of getting our armor back. Hey! So you're wondering, why does this person's voice sound familiar? And I realize there's someone I watch on YouTube and was watching your videos on this game earlier today. Hey, welcome! This game is fantastic. All right, let's take a look at this. They're going to go full clobbering here. It looks like they're all just aiming for her, which is good. Makes me wonder, though, what do we want to do? Because I can mess with some of these guys. Which one of you is more killable? 
Which one of you is going to do more damage? The answer is this guy. Okay, so let's... Alternatively, I blitz this guy and then try very hard to kill this guy. Yeah, let's blitz this guy. Leave him Leave him the next Tuesday. I could have gone for the explosives, but... I think I take more damage because of it, sort of. I didn't realize Sever was as much of a knockback as it is. So if I do that, that breaks him pretty bad as well. And makes him bleed. Okay. And do we want to just mind knife that guy? I knife that guy. Or let's do stimulate. That way they only get hit once each and I can potentially delay them even further. Bam! Because yeah, he's, he's chilled, everyone is bleeding. And she gets clobbered, but that's it. Hi. Okay, so we got a swing and fist coming my direction. I can't do anything about that. So let's, do we keep blitzing this guy? I'm gonna blitz that guy. Now if I take a look at these guys. Auto fire, swing and fist plus concussion. She's not going to be able to do anything. I'm pretty sure. So if I just have her defend, that should be okay. I could do a celestial smash. No. We should bestow shields. And let's just do some damage to that guy. Yeah, we're definitely in ouch territory, but it's not so bad. Oof. Okay, that hurt a little bit more than I thought. Oh, when he got her with a concussion, it, it knocked her out of the block. I got... Ow, what? Well, it's a good thing I gave the shields back. Hi. Okay. So I have a righteousness and I have a cataclysm, but I want to save those. If I can. So what do we got? This will knock back and break some of these guys. He's doing a haymaker. Which is obnoxious. Okay, so that'll just kill that guy. Which means I should probably actually have her cleave him. That gets me most of my HP back, some of my armor. And kills him, no matter what. Alright, is this guy weak to anything? No. He has almost nothing. So what do we want to do? Just hit him? Or do we blitz him hard? Oh, we can't, we can't blitz him. Okay, this should do the trick. So he gets hit, knocked down a bit. Guy in front is already stunned, and then this guy dies, gets me a little bit of armor back and my HP back that he so callously stole from me earlier. All right, so we still got him coming in for the hit. It's not gonna do enough. Let me think. So 
So I could sever this guy. It's not going to kill him, though. Yeah, the main issue is he's a little too early in the list. Alternatively, if I stimulate her, she's riled up. Okay, so I could do slash, I could do an instant sever. Ain't gonna kill him. Gets a lot of lead, though. Okay, let's do that. So we still have him on the list. So if I do this slash, it'll kill him. Cool. And then I'm gonna... I kind of wish I could have him wait, because this guy is going away. I guess I'll just hit him with a straight shot. Because there's nothing, there's nothing else I was going to be able to do there anyway. So she'll get haymakered, but that doesn't take off any armor. Hell, it didn't even take off her shield. Uh, it just took off her shields. Ah, mainly debuffed her with something. Looks like bro broke her armor. Uh, ish. Okay, so if we go here. We need to blitz this guy. He's got to get out of here. Oh, let's see. Wonder when you're playing Nexomon next. I've got a big backlog for it, so it might be a couple of days. I was hoping to specifically build a bit of a backlog, or not build a backlog. I was I was hoping to get the uh, the next patch to come out because it was going to add EXP sharing, which is really useful for me. Because that means I don't have to be switching my monsters out constantly just to get the e uh, to get the EXP. I don't actually know if it's going to be that helpful, but it might. All right, so let's blitz. Oh, that patch came yesterday. Awesome. Well, in that case, I will play it whenever the heck I feel like it, which might be tomorrow. Uh, no, it probably won't be tomorrow. The main issue is I have uh I have too many other things on my plate. Race to the finish. Kill the guy. We came out of this surprisingly unscathed. I was hoping her steel armor thing would let me steal armor if they had none, but that's not how it works. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to pay attention, but I've just been kind of busy. I wanted that, but... Alas. And then Wind's Wasteland 3. Again, kind of when I feel like it, I... I really do not know. Ooh, we do not want that. Let's go for this. The main problem is... I don't have enough space for all these series that I'm currently filming, plus all the new games that come out. So... As much as I'd like to... fulfill people's desires and wishes of, uh, of me to, like, play them, uh, I just... I don't... There's no way I'm gonna be able to do so comfortably. And so... You sometimes might have to wait a little bit. Especially for days where I don't have a blackout in the middle of the day, where I lose an hour's worth of recording. Do you know any of this... Do you think any of this ancient Titan where gear is, you know, radioactive? Some say the Titans were destroyed by their own overwhelming, overweening pride. Others say they were instantly vaporized by the great black hole microwave event. I guess we'll never know. At least they left some cool decorations behind. Could have at least cleaned up after themselves, or... I guess if they'd all died sim simultaneously, that would have been hard. Fair enough. I 
Oh. Okay, so the XP share is not actually nearly as useful as I was hoping. Well, that sucks. But yeah, for frame of reference, just to, just to describe this week alone, uh, I've got Bounty Battle coming out in two days. I've got Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning, which comes out tomorrow. We're not going to do a full series on it because I've already filmed the whole game once in the past. So we're probably just going to sit down and play it for like two hours and be like, Hey, uh, seven year channel anniversary, because it is, which is kind of exciting. Uh, gosh, what other, what other games are coming out in this next, like, short while? Uh, let's see. I mean, this game, obviously. I also agreed to do, like, a Children of Morta thing. I've got uh, Necromunda Underhive Wars, which I actually need to send an email about and say yes to so I can play that. That one's a little bit slower. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Vaporum Lockdown comes out next week. Spelunky's at the end of the month. Uh, there is BPM Bullets Per Minute, which looked pretty cool. A lot of these aren't necessarily this week, but it's just, it's it's always packed and it's so hard to just fit anything in. And yeah, then there's Wholesome Verse, because I'm going to be doing something with Rito tomorrow. I don't know what, but I'm going to be doing something with him. Probably. Uh, or we take the week off, I work on D&D stuff. I don't think that actually gets me anything, unfortunately. Surgeon Sim 2. I don't think I'm going to be doing that one. So D&D is confirmed? Oh, absolutely. I'm having them make characters now, and I've been working on maps. I'm impressed by your warrior skills. I've been training since childhood. Your mech armor is quite impressive, too. Gives you a very pleasing robot appearance. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, shield regen, and also more health. Nice. Let's take a look at her. Health damage, 33%. Unfortunately, not the most useful, but we definitely want to do wit. On him. Unfortunately, that does not farm friendship points, but that's okay. Health defense. Will be classic fantasy d and I mean, generally. The behemoth has arrived. Mother says I should kill you quickly, but I think I'm going to take my time and enjoy this. There's the Norosh behemoth, just as rude and ruthless as the first one. Go and show them who owns this dimension. After we save the Titan Core, I'm looking forward to a lengthy tactical explanation of the science behind it. Yeah, what about Lancer? I decided to put Lancer off because a lot of uh, a lot of people don't know it, and I've spent literally the last like two to three months trying to write a reasonable Lancer campaign, and I keep coming up with Bupkis. This should be fun. All right, let's take a look at this guy. So he has a lot of HP and three traits. If stunned, goes rabid, retaliates with deadly force. That sucks. Can attack twice per round. That also sucks. Extra defense versus staggers. That sucks. Okay, so if I do... Oh, God. Getting through him is going to be nightmarish. Okay, at least we've at least we've broken him for the time being. Let's go to her. Let's do stimulate. But yeah, so I I'd absolutely love to do a a Lancer campaign and I think we will get there. I think the main issue is just like holy shit, how do I how do I make a sci-fi campaign that isn't depressing? Cuz like Sci-fi, almost universally, it doesn't suck, but it sucks for almost all of the people in sci-fi. Okay. Let's do another Blitz. Let's keep breaking him. That voice can't be good for your throat. It's not, but if I'm not doing it constantly, it's not so bad. 
Let's see. Okay, now everybody can hit him. Oh. Empathic Surge. Cancels his debuffs and damage over time effects. And it looks like it's a full party thing. Well, isn't that handy? I think giving her the extra damage is so much better. Cyberpunk doesn't suck for everyone, you lie. It, let's be honest, though, it really does suck for most people in it. Okay. We gotta get those shields off of him. Once we get the shields off of him... Oh, no, we're already, we're already ripping the armor off. That's good. We need that. Alright, so let's take a look at him. So... It looks like he's going to muck up a lot of my shields. I think my best bet is to have everyone defend. I will bring your half-eaten corpses to mother and she will pet me and say, good girl. Oh shit, this is like a cat thing. Ow? So delicate and squishy. Alright, blitz. Probably also just do a righteousness. Next round. Maybe. May maybe. Could also do a Cataclysm. Uh, I'll think about it. Alright. Wind is going to do a Sever. Do we want to do an Empathic Surge? Yes, actually. And I want to do another Sever, which breaks him further. And let's start bestowing sh shields. This game has a nemesis system. Can you softlock yourself out of the game? I. Okay, so we go back to him. Can I blitz him? I cannot. We didn't knock him back far enough. Looks like he's mostly just hitting her, which is good. So let's go for the blitz. Now here's the question. If I cleave... Otherwise I could just defend. We'll just defend. I'm gonna hit him with Rattled. And let's do Peace. But yeah, there are a bunch of potential, like, sci-fi campaigns that I could maybe do, but it would be difficult. Mmm, you're tastier than you look! Howie? Oh, he's stunned. That's... that's bad. And that'll also stun him, which we actually really do not want to do. So in that case... We want to use some of our other abilities. So specifically, we could do Inspire. Let's give it to her. Okay, let's start with a Sever. Get some HP back. And then a Sunder. Or do we go for the Cleave?
Let's go for the Sunder. And let's do another Empathic Surge. I don't think I can stack it, but that shield regen is actually really helpful. Frustratingly enough, not much I can do. We have righteousness. That's probably worth it. Okay, that gives me a little bit of time. Get him his shields back. And no one else has a has a turn, so I guess we'll just hit it with the mind knife. It's not gonna do any damage, is it? Oh right, no, that pierces armor. Okay, so it's gonna be pissed off. It's rabbit. Ugh, I hate it when they do that! Help me. It really did not help me. I was hoping that he would retaliate on her. It would be like a counterattack or something. Well, he's just gonna defend. Uh, let's see. Honestly, we gotta just keep doing Sunder. Let's do peace on him. Keep taking that armor off, because it's the only way we're going to be able to beat the boss. Okay. Rip entrails. Ow! Yeah, the problem is I can't plan for one of those. Is he stunned again? What's he got? Okay, he's just chilled. I can work around that. Do we want to do a sever, or do I want to do a sunder? I'm going to keep doing sunder. We got to take that armor off. He needs his shields back. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's do shield aura. Now let's do empathic surge. We need a little bit more defense here. What if Wonder went full anime with sci-fi? Hey, you know that is actually a serious temptation. Okay, so what's he doing? Perforate on her. Hmm. We should probably just do straight shot. And she's going to defend. Okay, so whatever it does, it's going to hurt. Because it gets that shitty second hit. Okay, that's not so bad. He's doing gore. But it looks like we've got another one of those weird bonus rounds where they're not going to do anything to me. 
uh, which is kind of nice. At this point, do I want to just go for the cleave? Okay, bestow shields on self. Let's do a blitz. Because I want to reduce the defense so the next one hits harder. Uh, let's see. Let's make it so this, this hurts. So, I'm hanging on... We're one bad shot from being knocked around. Alright, wait, do I get another bonus round? Holy shit. Uh, let's see. He has some shields left. So let's keep going for the Blitz. Or some armor left. I'm going to keep going for the Blitz because I... Oh, she's actually maxed out on armor. You know what? That's fine Fine with me. Let's stimulate her. Yeah, I think between Chill and maybe some other stuff, we've just kind of pushed him off the initiative order for a while, which gives me a lot of time to hit him. Yep, yeah, there he is. We found him. It took a while, but we found him. Alright, so what's he doing? Alright, so he's unfortunately doing gore, which is gonna hurt. Is that just hitting everybody? Yep. Alright, time for everyone to defend. Like your life depends on it, because it does. Everyone's about to die. This thing is durable. It is. Okay, we're intimidated. <gasps> this is not going as I expected. Vengeance mode. Counterchecks when hit. Hopefully this works. Perfect. Let's see. Bestow shields on her. Let's go with that. Alright. So, worked out. Bit of a gambit. Took some damage. But this way I can smack him around a little bit further. And then we'll be good to go. Man. This oh, it healed. This game is everything I liked about Halcyon 6, but in a much faster package without a lot of the extra fluff. So delicate and squishy! Alright, so it's doing perforate on him, which is killer. However... That's not so bad. Because we got, we got Blitz, we can just murk it. Ah, that heals rough. Okay, and I think Empathic Surge has gone away. Faster, less story version of Octopath? Yeah, also that. I like this better than Octopath, to be entirely honest. Okay, boss is down at the end of the list. Okay. He needs to just defend. Hope for the best. Let's just let's just hit it. Let's see. Just a reminder, was Octopath any good? It was a nice kind of like, hey. Do you remember like old school JRPGs? Oh, he almost down died. 
but in in and of itself, I think the biggest problem that I ran into specifically with Octopath. All in. All in. Okay. Uh, biggest problem that I ran into with Octopath, it was very slow. You had to constantly break armor off of enemies to stun them so you could actually hurt them, which led to some pretty busted fun combos. Problem was, it took so long to get there on every fight. And so I think it would have been a perfect system against bosses. But against even regular trash mobs, it could take five six minutes and that works for like a tactical rpg like final fantasy tactics but not so great for a jrpg you're tougher than i and so while the combat was probably octopath traveler's strongest point it was also its weakest because by the time you hit the halfway point on the game you just kind of didn't want to play anymore and so if you stuck through with it it was okay I liked the I liked the characters I I liked the world I liked the fact that you could kind of approach it from any angle but it didn't have enough to keep me around as well uh, the biggest issue truly that I ended up with apart from the fact that the combat took so long was that so many of the characters had nothing to do with each other and that was kind of disheartening and like they would talk a little bit but it wasn't like Final Fantasy where you have all sorts of interpersonal relationships on full display at any point in the game. Uh, this is all just every character had their own story and then there was kind of one thing at the very end that was like a combined story. Anyway, another amazing job team. Every time I see a behemoth smashed into flam flaming wreckage, the universe feels a little safer. Now for the bad news. The Imperium has outflanked us once again. They set up another extraction operation on Dagon. So you know the drill. Buy some new gear, talk to the new recruits, and hop onto the shuttle. Here's jobs never done, eh? Hell yeah, Dagon. They have some great casino resorts on that planet. Not for long. All right, let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Oh, the gauntlets work on her too. Good to know. Steel shields all attacks. That's not bad. Let's see. Blaster, concussion, staggers longer. Inflicts rattled, but less damage or maybe it weakens enemies. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Let's go see if I can get the commando. Let's also go talk to the gadget merchant. I like this. Bonus damage versus health on AoE attacks and steals health on all attacks. I mean, this one's great, too. Inflicts an extra 20-second stagger on AoE attacks. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna go for, for the health. Because the stagger and the shield stealing is nice, but... Health stealing is more useful. This is hard to get health back. So let's buy that. And that's all my money. And then where's the where's the dude? Is it this dude? Oh, we could get the Aegis? Or the Enforcer. I like the sound of Aegis. I was hot on the trail of the Chrono Lamp of Drex Key A, but saving the galaxy seems more important. Although that lamp is worth a bundle. Just keep an eye on her around any ancient artifacts. Recruit Aegis. Sure. Hopefully she's a good frontliner. Because we need more tanks. I'm over here. I've got a lot of stuff. Oh. She starts at level 5. Oh, thank you. That is so relaxing. Ooh, stirring proclamation. Repairs armor. Or guards all allies. I'm working on her now. Because, yeah, guarding all allies sounds really handy. New power fortress. Yeah. Alright. Well, one way or another, I'm tired, so I'm going to save an exit. Also, it seems like my internet went down, so I'm doubly going to save an exit. <laughs>